hi viewers welcome to lama solution today we are going to see about solar pv based electric vehicle charging with gtv and vtg of mode of operation so this is some link model we developed for this solar pv based electric vehicle charging along with the v2g and gtv concept so this model consists of uh, the main grid the main grid uh, having the rating of 154 megawatt with 34.5 kilovolt so that going to be stepped down to 400 volt and it having a ev battery the ev battery going to be connected to the solar pv grid via this bidirectional dc dc converter so this bidirectional dc dc converter going to be controlled by means of voltage controller so here we are going to measure that the DC link voltage. So the DC link voltage will be compared with the reference voltage. So here we are going to maintain the DC link voltage around 470 volt. So it will be compared with the 470 and it will be processed via PA controller and then it will be processed via PWM generator. So the PWM generator is going to be generate the pulse. So this pulse is going to be control this IGPTFB bidirectional DC DC converter. So here we are going to maintain the DC link voltage at 470. And based upon the energy management or power management, the EV battery is going to be charged or discharged. Okay. So the EV battery is going to be charged from the solar PV during the time when the SOC is less than 90 percentage if the SOC of the EV battery is more than 95 during day time then the water power generated from the solar PV so that going to be sent to a grid so this is a one mode of operation mode 1 so mode 1 nothing but a, uh, operation during day time that means during on the availability of PV power and mode 2 mode 2 nothing but the vehicle to grid concept so in vehicle to grid that mean uh, the power from this whole uh, from the EV battery is directly is given to the uh, grid as per user requirement and mode 3 nothing but the grid to vehicle so this EV battery can be charged from the uh, grid so there are three mode of operation in this model so in this mode 1 mode 2 mode 3 mode 1 nothing but uh, operation under uh, power availability in the solar pv mode 2 nothing but a vehicle to grid concept mode 3 nothing but a grid to vehicle concept so when uh, this model right solar pv rating is 25 kilovolt sorry kilowatts 25 kilowatts and uh, the line to line voltage is 400 in the inverter side and then grid frequency here is 50 hertz okay so here so this is a model inside that uh, solar pv system and having solar panel the single panel rating is uh, 445 watts so here we are using 8 panel in series and seven panel in parallel sorry seven strings in parallel and then here you can see that so this iv pv characteristics of that uh, insert pv array the maximum power at the standard at this condition is 24.94 kilowatts right so it can generate maximum 24.94 kilowatts at the uh, standard test condition and then uh, this solar PV is going to be connected to the this inverter or DC link so via this boost converter okay so this boost converter will be controlled by means of MPPT algorithm so here we are measuring the PV voltage and current so based upon PV voltage and current so you have to generate the reference voltage so here you can see that so here on the PV voltage and current going to be 
the process via P into MBPT. So it going to generate the reference voltage. So this reference voltage will be compared with the, the PV panel voltage and it will be processed via PA controller. So the PA controller will be generated the duty cycle. So the duty cycle will going to be processed via pedulum generator. So now this pedulum generator will be generated the pulse. So this pulse is going to be used for control this boost converter in order to extract the maximum power from the PV array. And same this link, right? Uh, we are connecting that EV battery or yeah, that uh, bi directional DC DC converter. And then here we are having inverter. So here we are having three level neutral client uh, clamp the inverter. And then we have harmonic filter and a transformer to filter out the harmonic common in the output of the inverter. So this inverter can be controlled by means of feed forward decoupling control concept. So in order to implement that feed for decoupling control concept, you have to measure the, the grid side voltage and current and going to be converted into DQ form by using transformation. So here we are applying that uh, power transformation for conversion of EPC to DQ not quantity. So after conversion of uh, DQ not right, we are going to take only VD and VQ and IDIQ. And then we need to generate the reference current. So here we are going to decide the mode of operation. Okay. So here you can see that this chart or state flow right will receive the different inputs. The inputs are SOC mode and then V2G current and GTV current and then power of the PV and then the ID reference current based upon the term PV power during that mode one operation so here we are passing that mode of mode of operation data uh, when you have to use one means so it will be operated at the solar pv2 battery mode or solar pv2 grid so based upon the soc level so when we are to allow uh, you have to send a uh, two means so it will be allowed uh, so it will be operated to v2g when you have to send this uh, signal is three means so it going to be operated the g2v mode okay so here we are providing the reference power for v2g and uh, v2g and the g2v and then it going to be converted into the current id reference current okay so here we are converting the pp uh, that in power of pv into the the reference current okay so after that go inside when i'm going inside here we have uh, the different chart right so initially chart will be presented here so whenever the simulation started so this comes to this position so here we are included that mean we are providing the reference current id reference equal to zero okay after that here we are checking the different details so here suppose the soc is greater than 95 and uh, the mode one is enabled right and then it comes to this state okay if suppose mode two is enabled means it comes to this state and if mode three is enabled means it comes to this state okay so consider mode one right if soc is greater than 95 and uh, mode one is enabled is come to this state and then we are taking the ID reference is directly from the IPV, right? So whatever current or power generated from the PV is, is given to ID reference. So what's the meaning here? The battery SOS is more than 85 percent. So we are feeding the current to the grid. Okay. So whatever power we are generating, so that power is given to the term grid. Okay. So next you have to check the another condition is yes, condition SOS is less than 95 percent and mode 1 is enabled so mode 1, me, one yeah. enabled means the, the power is available in the pv so here we are making id reference equal to zero so what's the meaning so whatever power available in the pv that won't be used for charge the battery alone okay so this is a mode 1 operation so next comes to mode 2 so mode 2 nothing but uh, v2g mode right vehicle to grid mode so that means the power availability in the uh, EV battery. 
so that going to be given to the grid so here we are making some condition the reference current from the v to g so that will be linked with the id reference okay so here we are sending power from ev battery to grid that means vehicle to grid in mode 3 operation so comes to mode 3 mode 3 anything but the grid to vehicle concept so here we are taking the g to v reference current and it going to be processed by id reference so here we are making current is minus so why we are making minus we are getting power from the grid uh, to charge the ev battery okay and also here you can see that uh, when uh, when this mode is operated and then mode 2 will be enabled that means when P, uh, power of pv is goes to less than zero okay then mode 2 or mode 3 will be enabled so based upon the, the detail available here right so whatever detail we are coming here is now is we have uh, that mean data is 2 right uh, that mean here mode 2 will be enabled that mean mode uh, that mean state will be changed from mode 1 to mode 2 when the, there is no power uh, power from the solar pv okay if suppose this settings is 3 means then and the state will be moved from this state to this state because mode 3 is enabled right so based upon that uh, mode number uh, the state will be changed okay suppose this is that mean now the system is operated in mode 2 okay and same time uh, the daytime will be started during the time ppv is greater than zero so what will happen so the state will be state uh, change from this mode to this mode and then check this condition so based upon this condition the transition will be, uh, transition will be taken place in between this state to this state okay the same way you can see that in mode 3 right so when uh, when the system operate in mode 3 right during that time the daytime uh, will be started and then pv power is greater than zero then uh, the transition will be taken place between mode 3 to 2 mode 1 and then a uh, transition will be taken between this state to this state based upon this condition okay so whatever uh, changes will be occur in the system right so the state automatically change according with that reference can will be generated okay so this up energy management or control of a system in the three modes mode one mode two mode three okay so here we are getting id reference uh, and one more thing here we are going to control only the real power right real power flow between uh, solar pv to battery and then solar pv to grid or else vehicle to grid or grid to vehicle so uh, iq reference here we are taking is zero so we are not uh, dealing with the reactive power control so here we are getting id and iq reference and then already we have id iq actual of the actual current of uh, id iq current of the inverter and then here we are applying that uh, feed for decoupling concept that means here we are comparing that the id iq actual with the id iq reference and then going to be processed by a pa controller so and then here we are applying feed for de decoupling control and then finally we will get the control voltage in the form of vd and vq okay so next so here we have that control voltage in the form of vd vq and then it going to be converted into abc form so here we are going to apply the transformation right Part transformation so inverse part transformation so is going to be vdv is going to be converted to abc and then it's going to be processed via modulating block so this modulating block will be generated the reference voltage so this reference voltage is going to be controlled this inverter and then uh, the based upon the mode selection so the inverter will be work accordingly okay so this is uh, an explanation of this model so next we have to go with the simulation results so now i am going to operate the model when soc is 50 percentage and then i am going to make irradiation equal to 1000 so now the power is uh, power that mean uh, because of settings that mean irradiation and temperature settings right the power 
will be generated from the PV, then it won't be used for charge the battery alone because SOC is less than 95 percentage, then there is no power will be sent to the grid. Okay, so let me check the results. So here you can see that the detail. So this is a grid power, this is solar PV power, this is battery power and then this is diesel link voltage, this is duty cycle and then battery voltage, battery current and battery power and SOS of the battery. So here you can see that so water power generated right so that will be used to for charge the battery okay. So here you can see this SOC is keep on increasing right. So the battery power is going to be follow then uh, the, the nature of that uh, solar PV right you can see that right. So water power is available is going to be given to battery to charge right. And also you can see that the, this is AC side voltage and current of the uh, that inverter right. So here you can see that uh, there is no current will be sent to the grid. So that's why the current is zero, maintain zero. And also here you can see that the grid power is zero, around zero, okay. So now I'm going to reduce the irradiation to 500. And then we will check the results. So now we can see that uh, the power is reduced in the PV because of the uh, reduction in the radiation and also same uh, thing will be happen, uh, is happened in the battery also the battery power charging power level also decreased but you can see here that grid is never receiving any power from the solar PV here also you can see that the grid current is zero right. So in this condition right when solar power uh, during daytime condition and the SOC is less than 90 percentage so battery is continuously charging more okay so now and also uh, we have to check the same detail with the uh, uh, here so here I'm um, on the selection mode here I put it to 2 right so now I'm going to test the model when I'm going to make uh, uh, irradiation equal to 0 so uh, when make irradiation equal to 0 what's the meaning is go to night mode right that mean there is no power from the PV then uh, uh, yeah, that mean mode will be changed to mode 1 will be changed to mode 2 or mode 3 so here we are fixed to mode 2 right so here I am going to fix 0 and then enter so is moving to the mode 2 mode mode 2 nothing but the vehicle to grid concept so now we can see that the solar power is comes to zero and then you can see that battery power goes to 20 kilowatt right and then here you can see that the grid receiving 20 kilowatt now the system operate in mode to operation and also here you can see that this is battery voltage and battery current battery power here you can see that the soc the soc is decreasing so SOC decrease mean uh, battery in uh, discharging mode. So that means the water power only in the EV. So that is going to be given to the grid. Okay. And also here you can see that the there is current in the AC side voltage and current after inverter. Okay. So and also you can see the phase angle, right? So both are having in phase voltage and current having in phase. Okay. So that means the grid receiving power from the uh, battery okay EV battery so now I'm going to change uh, the power level uh, that means here I'm going to change to 10 that means power reference for V2G and GTV and then you have to check the uh, detail so here you can see that so the power reference um, I have changed the power reference because of that you can see that so there is a reduction in the battery power, uh, discharging power reduction, right? And also you can see that the power sent to the grid also is reduced, right? And also you can see the slope, right? The SOC slope is uh, changed, right? So for changing power level, that means uh, command power level command also is working perfectly. So now I'm going to change to V2G to G2V mode. 
So for that here I am going to change 3 and also here you can say that the current reference current change to minus 4 initially is in 0.4 is to change to minus 0.4 so now you have to check the results so now the mode change from VTG to GTV so here you can see that so now we are have getting power from the uh, grid to vehicle ok now you can see here right the power of battery is negative and then power of grid is positive and also here you can see that the phase angle difference will be 180 degree so a phase angle difference between the voltage and current is 180 means we are receiving power from the grid ok and also you can see here right the SOC is start increasing right so now I am going to increase the power level for the GTV to 20 and then I am going to check the result so you can see the difference now you can see that I have increased the power level to 20 that means 20 kilowatt now you can see that it maintained at 20 kilowatt grid power is 20 kilowatt and then battery power is around 20 kilowatt and also you can see the increase in current and the AC side voltage and current ok so now system is working in the GTV mode ok so now I am going to operate the same system to mode on operation so that means uh, that means uh, daytime will be going to start right so here I am going to uh, change to 100 and then you have to check the, the detail that means the irradiation will be start increasing now ok so now you can see that uh, the battery is comes to 0 and then grid is comes to 0 ok and then you can wait for some time because it will take same time to change the mode right now you can see that because of based upon the irradiation right what will happen system is start generating power and then the same power will be given to that uh, battery ok for charging right so you will get that means variation is small right so now I am going to increase the irradiation further to 500 and then I am going to check the result so now I am going to increase the uh, that, uh, have, I have increased the irradiation now you can see that the power is shifted from this point to this point around 10 kilowatt right here you can see that so this is a power of battery battery is now charging right so here you can see that the SOC of the battery start increasing right because the SOC level is here is 90 less than 95 percent is only so that's why battery will be fully charging that means there is shifted from GTV to that means mode 3 to mode 1 okay so and also you can see the uh, so that means state for inside right so now you can see that the mode is operated here right so now I am going to change the uh, mode to G2V right I am going to make TV equal to 0 and then I am going to show the state now you can see that mode 3 is enabled right so and also I am going to change the state now you can see the, the variation of so now system is operating in GTV mode so grid now supplying the power battery is saving the power PV is not generating power ok now I am going to change to V2, V2G mode that means here I am going to change the mode to 2 and then here you can see that the mode 3 to mode 2 transition is happened right so now system operate in mode 2 and we are going to check the result so now you can see that the grid power is minus 20 kilowatts right and then the battery power is 20 kilowatt and then you can see that voltage and current having increase so now you can see that battery in the battery source is, is decreasing so now it, it is in mode to operation that means vehicle to grid mode right 
so the system will be work based upon the condition of the simulation right so it can work in the mode one that mean uh, daytime mode right mean uh, pv power available mode or else it can operate v2g vr uh, so v2g or ngtv so based upon these settings okay so this is the working of this model and one more thing i need to check another condition so that mean we need to test the model and the soc of the battery is more than 95 percentage so here i'm going to make 96 percentage and i'm going to operate the model so here i'm going to make 1000 so now the soc of the battery is more than 95 percentage so that means if it, if it is operated in mode one operation then we need to send the power to the grid only so no need to charge the battery okay so now i'm going to simulate this model so you will see the results so now you can see that the battery power is zero right so what all power is generating right is going to be given to grid okay because it is an operate operated in a mode one mode one operation that means uh, SOC of the battery is greater than 90 percentage so there is power in the solar PV so water power in the solar PV is, is given to the grid so here you can see that the grid power is negative so water power is generated is given to grid and also here you can see that solar uh, sorry battery power is almost to zero okay so now system operate in mode one and then uh, the water power generated so that will be given to the grid okay so now i'm going to change the mode of operation that means here I'm going to change to uh, PV that means mode 1 to mode 2 or mode 3. Here I'm going to make 0. So you can see the detail. So now you can see that the system operated in a vehicle to grid mode, right? Vehicle to grid operation right so because pv power is equal to zero uh, and then you can see that the battery power is 20 kilowatt so that 20 kilowatts is going to be given to uh, grid okay and also you can see here the soc is keep on decreasing right and also you can check the voltage and current is in face each other so the power from the battery is given to the grid so now i'm going to change the mode and also you can check the state here now operate in mode 2 okay so now i'm going to change the state to 3 so now it should be changed to a grid to vehicle so now you can see that now grid power is 20 kilowatt 20 kilowatts right so that will going to be given to battery now you can see that battery so is keep on increasing right now system in a mode 3 that means grid to vehicle concept so next you have to check the transition from mode 3 to mode 1 so for that i'm going to slightly increasing the term irradiation and then you have to check the detail so after slightly increasing irradiation so what happened right the battery power comes to zero so and then you can see that uh, solar PV generating some power so that power is given to the grid so here SOC is maintained ideal right so I am going to further increasing the radiation so after increasing the radiation you can see that the power from the solar PV is 10 kilowatts so that will be given to the grid okay and here you can see that both are in phase right that means water power generated from the pv is given to the grid okay 
and further I am going to increase the irradiation to 1000 and then we will check the uh, detail and also we will check the state of the mode right here here you can see that the further power will be increases to around 24 kilowatts right so that will be given to grid okay and here you can see that this source is made in ideal okay and you have to see the state so currently the state um, that mean is in mode 1 state right that mean SOC is greater than 95 operation of mode will be 1 right so that's why in the mode 1 state okay and also I am going to once again I am going to change the system to mode 2 so here I am going to make irradiation to 0 and then you have to check the result so now system operated into mode 2 that means a vehicle to grid so that's why SOC is decreasing ok so for more than 90, SOC is more than 90 percent is also we, uh, we discussed a different mode of operation like mode 1 operation mode 2 and mode 3 so in this condition also system work fine okay so this is the working of this model so thanks for watching our videos so kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye